uh, hit that, um, <laughs> what am I saying? Hi everyone and welcome to the Free Range Diva. So I picked up a few things over Black Friday. I picked up a few things slightly before Black Friday. So I thought I would share some of my uh, acquisitions with you in this video. Um, a word about Black Friday before I start. I don't know about you, but this year it seemed like I got more emails than I have ever gotten in one particular two-week period in my life. I mean, I was getting emails from stores four or five times a day telling me, you know, in case you forgot, uh, this is the last chance to save the maximum amount. I mean, it was ridiculous. So I ended up unsubscribing to a lot of uh, Old Navy, <laughs> as well as other places that uh, I had subscribed to before, because I just couldn't take it anymore. Um, all right. Okay, so let's take a look at a few of the things uh, that uh, I acquired during the sale. Starting off with, ta-da! Are these not gorgeous? These are uh, blush pink New Balance sneakers. I really needed these. Um, and I wanted to um, have this color because I've had a bag in this color that I carry all the time. And so I figured I might as well have shoes to match. Um, and one word about shopping at Macy's.com. First of all, shout out to Desiree at Seaweed Starfish for tipping me off to the fact that Macy's had a ton of different styles of sneaks in this color. Uh, and so I went over there and I tried those on and they were 70 bucks and I had my little coupon and I said, you know, in a couple of hours the coupon was going to, you know, the, the sale would officially start. So I told the sales associate that I would just come back in a couple of hours and pick them up so I could use the coupon. And she was like, oh no, we don't take the coupons here. <laughs> we're excluded. Uh, so I said, well, is it going to be on sale? Now, I had already checked on their site, and I knew that these shoes were $44 on their site on that day. So I said, well, are they you know, going to be marked down later? And she said, no, I don't think so because these are brand new. So I went to Macy's website uh, after Black Friday officially started the next day, and there they were, only marked down to $33 instead of $44. And Macy's was giving 10% cash back from Ebates. Now, here in Southern California, that's tax. So why does anybody buy in stores anymore? I mean, I'm, I'm kind of like, okay, fine, you want to play it like that, Macy's? I'm done. I'm not coming in there anymore because that's insane. I also bought a, a second pair of shoes, uh, some tanned little booties from Bear Traps. Uh, I actually ordered to pick up in the store and I have to go get them today. But I'll cut in a little clip of what they look like. But yeah, I needed some uh, brown shoes and I needed something in leather because it's going to be raining a lot. In fact, in fact it's supposed to start raining tomorrow and go through the next two days. So I needed something, you know, because I've already been caught in the rain once uh, last week and uh, did not want that to happen again to any of my suede or, you know, um, cloth type shoes. So picked those up today. Uh, but yeah, that was my Macy's trip. I also stopped at Nordstrom's Rack and picked up this sweater. Again, all over Pinterest there are oversized sweaters in these sort of muted blush pinks and muted grays and muted tans. And so this has it, the sleeve, you know, the striped sleeve with the three colors in there. It does not button up, but I'll stand up here and show you that, you know, although it doesn't have any buttons on it. You can certainly, if you want it closed, you can uh, belt it here and maybe wear it off the shoulder if you like. Um, but yeah, this is like, this was, there now you can really see it. So yeah, so yeah, so um, this is the, this is my, you know, my uh, sweater that I got and it's very lightweight, uh, perfect for, you know, this time of year here in Los Angeles because, you know, it's it's cold, but it's not that cold, especially not during the day. All right, coming up, uh, everything else I think is going to be skincare and personal care. So we'll start with 
I went to, what was the name of this? A couple of places I'd never shopped at before. This is from Aurora Beauty. And I ordered the Mahalo Unveil Cleanser. Uh, as you know, this is my holy grail. This is the, uh, so far, the only balm cleanser that I have tried that actually washes, takes off all your makeup, turns into a milky cleanser when you apply water to it, and then washes off clean. So um, this is like first cleanse and second cleanse all in one step, and my skin feels, you know, just wonderful, nicely, not dried or anything like that, what you, you know, you know, the good stuff. But they also sent a really sweet note from Aurora. Here's the card. And I usually don't read these, but this was so sweet. So let me just read this really quick. Hi, Cheryl. Thank you so much for your support. It means the world. Most importantly, enjoy this amazing skincare treat. Sending much love, Farah. So that's, you know, I like a little personal touch now and then. And this was really, and it's handwritten. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, Aurora Beauty. It's, it was a new site to me. Maybe some of you have shopped there before. If you have, let me know. Because I think I'll be shopping there again. The other place that I went that I had not been before, and this is actually a gift for someone that I picked up. But uh, I went to Ilea Beauty. Again, this is another one that I had never been to, and I picked up this holiday trio from Innersense, and it's got the, what does it have, the Sweet Spirit Leave-In, the Hydrating Cream Conditioner, which is a Holy Grail conditioner for me, and the Hydrating Cream um, Hair Bath. And so I have not tried the hair bath or the leave-in before, and I'm really tempted to keep this, but I'm going to be strong because I did get this for a special friend who I know will love it, so... Uh, yeah, it's the and as far as I know, this was twenty dollars, and I believe it's still there. Uh, the Hydrate Holiday Trio from Innersense. If it is, I'll link it below. Great gift, and great if you've never tried Innersense before. Then I also did a Pharmaca order and a Vitacost order, so I'm just gonna put all those together and show you uh, what came in those. Oh, wait, one more. I forgot. I also stopped in at Osmia and picked up their Sunset Body Oil, Holy Grail Body Oil. This is the uh, smaller size. They have a lot, this is like 20 something and they have a larger size that's 60 something, but I don't go through it fast enough to warrant getting a big size. But um, this will last me, I'll probably take six months to go through this and then I'll have another one. But yeah, this, this is my favorite body oil and my favorite fragrance ever, uh, Sunset. Then, uh, okay, so from Vitacost and Pharmaca, I picked up two toothpastes. This is my regular toothpaste nature, from Nature's Gate, then the Creme de Menthe, Corn Free. This is the Clay Bright Sensitive Toothpaste from Zion Health, from my last video. Uh, but they sell on Vitacost, and so this is fluoride free, gluten free, minerals. So this is a great way. I actually got this uh, for my mother to try and uh, help her to remineralize um, her teeth and then if it works well for her then I'll be using it too. I believe it's corn free so I'm going to try it to make sure but uh, yeah this is whitening and uh, supports gum health, control cavities, freshens breath and it has the Montmorillonite clay in it that is so mineral rich. So picked up those then uh, I also picked up from Trilogy their rosehip oil in the light blend. Finally, I got this. I'm testing out some skincare right now from Herbivore and I'll have a, a, a review of that coming up soon. And one of the, they also have a night oil that I've been using, so I haven't busted into this yet. But as soon as I'm done with that, um, I'm going back into this rosehip light blend oil. Because rosehip oil is the bomb, at least for my skin anyway. And then the last couple of things that I have here are from Andalou Naturals. And I picked up their Night Repair Cream with Resveratrol, CoQ10. Um, this is great for my skin anyway, which is normal, by the way. Sometimes it can get a little dry, but it's mostly normal, slightly dry. And this is really good uh, for the winter time for me at night especially uh, under the eyes or just in areas that can get dry like my cheekbones or whatever over the oil, you know, my oil serum that I used before. And then the last thing from Andalou is the Firming Toner. This is their coconut water line and this only this line only used to be 
uh, sold at Whole Foods, but it's now sold at Vitacost. So whoopee! Uh, I can get it, you know, when I put in my regular order. And this is from their Quenching Coconut Water line. I know I already said that. Uh, it has a very refreshing scent, and it's so uh, hydrating. It's one of their. I, this might be their most hydrating toner that they have, but. Um, uh, it's my second time getting it, so there you go. You know I love it. Okay, that's it. That was fast. All right, so that's my little haul uh, from Black Friday. Didn't didn't buy a lot, but just a few things that, you know, I really, really love. Uh, so, um, great. <laughs> All right, everybody. Um, I'm getting a little punchy. It's, it's lunchtime. I need to eat. So I'm going to sign off now and uh, wish you a wonderful day, a wonderful week. Give this video a thumbs up if you, um, you know, enjoyed it. Subscribe if you hadn't already. And, uh, uh, of course, um, yeah. Uh, oh, the, my next video. Uh, I'm going to film it right now as soon as I grab a little bit of lunch. And that's going to be a favorites video. So if you don't want to miss that video, then be sure and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I will see you in my next video. So until then... Take good care of yourselves, have a great week, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye! <laughs>